Welcome back everyone. Well, our last video you seen how we got the garden now all set and ready to plant. But if you look up here, you can hear the thunder in the background. We have had nothing but two days worth of rain. Rain, rain, rain. So, but I'm not going to let that stop me. So on tonight's video here, I'm going to show you how we're going to do our potatoes. And we're going to do the potatoes over here in the corner. Um, I'm going to mound them in here and all that. But let me tell you how I got started. If you remember from our one video, I showed you the package that we had of our potatoes. We had four potatoes. And the other day, I ended up cutting them. And you can see them sitting in here. And I'll just grab one here and show everybody. But I cut the pieces off to where I have about two good eyes here per potato. And I cut them about two days ago, like I say. So this became calloused and dried out. So what I'm going to do is, is before it really starts a downpour here, I'm going to go ahead and get them into the ground. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to get them um, all taken care of. And then I'm going to show you guys a um, future project that I'm going to have coming up here. So let me get them into the ground and we'll go from there. All right. So as you can see there, I think we, uh, there we go. As you can see here, since the ground was already all rototilled and the soil was soft enough, I just ended up pushing them like right into the ground right here. And what I'm going to do is, is, since this ground is kind of soft, I'm just going to cover them up a little bit with this dirt. And then I'm going to take our topsoil and I'm going to completely cover these. So let me get that done and then I'll show you what they look like when I get them all in. Okay. So now, as you can see here, what I did was, is, hold on a second. Okay, we uh, had some dirt on the lens there. But I'm trying to beat the rain here. That's what I'm trying to do here. But, because it's already beginning. But, as you can see, this whole area now, I covered it in a mound of dirt. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to leave them go. Let the rain, you know, soak in. And let them get nice and wet and everything. And then as they start to grow, as they start to appear here with their little leaves and everything, I'm going to keep mounting this dirt up higher and higher and keep burying them because I don't want the potatoes to have sunlight. Otherwise, they're going to turn green and then they won't be no good. So I want to keep building this area up as they, uh, as they grow. And you'll see more of that come this summer. And then um, I'm thinking as far as my onions are concerned... I think I'm going to plant the onions like right along the fence right here. I'm going to go from like corner to about, you know, so far in. I'm going to plant one row and we'll plant two rows of those of all the different onions. But with all this rain lately, it got me to thinking about how am I going to be able to, you know, get back here to water. Sorry about that. Um, but anyways, as I started to get things in here... Like I say, you know, I'm going to have my onions, potatoes, corn, tomatoes, cucumbers, and then um, a bunch of herbs all over in here and stuff. Um, but it got me to thinking about, um, like, you know, like I say, the backyard or the back of the property here is all fenced in. So how am I going to, uh, you know, get some kind of source of water back here, especially during the summer? Um, you know, without like running a hose across the yard or, uh, you know, however. Then it dawned on me. If you look over here, what I'm going to do is, is I have a old rain gutter, okay, up on here. This rain gutter now has been plugged for quite some time and the water all leaks out on the one end. I think what happened was, is something up there with the gutter guard uh, that we have in place when we had trees back here Something plugged it and all the water stays on the one end. So what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna cut That gutter guard off And I'm gonna clean out the gutter get it all nice and cleaned and everything Where this flex pipe is what I'm gonna do is Is I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna show everybody I'm gonna take a normal pipe and I'm gonna run it you know like this to the to the side of the garage okay like this and I come down to this first beam I'm gonna come across here 
or come out, come out here, come out. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get two 55 gallon drums, blue, those blue plastic barrels. And I'm going to set them up back here and I'm going to have one barrel, you know, as the main catch. And then I'll have another one where the tube will go across and I'm going to have a second barrel as like an overflow. And I figured that since we've been having a lot of rain and all that and everything, that that'll be the best thing to do. Instead of using um, like city water, tap water, I'm going to end up using um, the rain water that, you know, comes right from the rain gutter right there. Then that way, all I have to do then is, is just put a hose over here. And all I'm going to do is come over when the barrels are full, water the garden, and it will start, you know, it'll look, it'll work really great. It'll work, you know, really nice and all that. So um, that's, like I say, that's just a short little quick video tonight because I just saw some lightning in the distance and I don't want to be out here too long. So, so all right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. And like I say, I hope everybody's enjoying these videos. And, you know, please give them a thumbs up because it helps out the video. And, you know, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, when we finally get our onions in, take care and stay safe, everyone. And we'll see you next time.